Well, we're out here on a windy day and we're fishing with soft plastics on a Carolina rig. Sometimes these fish, you, they'll bite the bait and in the strong wind you can't feel the bite. So you delay in setting the hook until after the fish has swallowed the bait. And in those instances, you might actually hook the fish in their esophagus or down in their stomach. And we're going to be talking today about a technique that we can use to safely remove the hook from the fish's esophagus or stomach with minimal injury to the fish. And so when we release the fish, it'll have the best chance of survival. Now this particular fish was hooked in the mouth just like you'd want it to be hooked. Just pop the hook out. Sometimes the danger of fishing soft plastics is you have a fish that will swallow the bait and uh, you don't feel the bite until it's too late. And by the time you, you set the hook, you set the hook actually into the fish's stomach or in the esophagus area. And this poses a problem. Uh, the myth out there is that if you just snap the line, take the plastic out, leave the hook in the fish's mouth, that the hook will rust out and the fish will be fine. But that's not the case. Most new hooks that are on the market today are made out of metals that don't rust. And so they don't uh, come out of the fish's mouth. And what happens is, is uh, if you leave the hook in the, the fish's mouth, there's two things that can happen. One is the hook shank can impede the fish's ability to feed. Uh, they, they can't swallow their prey when they capture them in their mouth. Second thing that can happen is the point of the hook that's buried, that's punctured through the lining of the stomach is uh, allowing stomach juices to uh, enter the, the fish's body cavity and as well as that sharp hook is exposed and can puncture other vital organs inside the fish. So it's important to get the, fit, the hook out and we're going to show you a technique today that uh, will allow you to do that and release the, the fish relatively unharmed. Now we've determined that this, this fish has a deeply hooked lure and after I've clipped the line I'm going to go in there and remove that bulky soft plastic out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Once that's out of there, the technique, instead of going in through the mouth, what you want to do is actually go in through the fish's gill arch, that first gill arch right there, and you can see where that hook is sitting. You pop the hook over sideways and the hook just comes right out because you use leverage coming from the underside and that allows that hook to come out of the fish's stomach. The, there's, no, there's no bleeding, the fish is uh, perfectly fine and we're going to release that fish relatively unharmed. 